Hi guys, welcome to Bite Size Excel. In today's video, we're going to take a look at Find and Replace in Excel and some of the options that you might not be aware of with this functionality. Now, the example we're using today is one of Excel's built-in templates. And what we're going to do is we're going to open up the Find and Replace dialog box by using the keyboard shortcut Control and F. And this brings up this dialog box. You can also use the shortcut Control and H, which brings up the Replace tab within that dialog box. Or you can come to the top on your Home tab, come over to your Editing group, click this little down arrow, and you'll notice Find and Replace options here at the top. Now, once you've opened the dialog box, you'll probably mostly be familiar with the fact that you can search for anything within your workbook. So for example, if I were to search for total and click find next, it would find the next instance in the workbook. Now in this example, it's come to this formula and it's found the word total. If we click on this options tab, it opens up some further options. So this includes where you want to search within your workbook, in this instance, we're searching within the sheet we're in or the tab we're on, so this dashboard tab. But you can also select workbook, which means it will search for your term through all the different tabs. The second option is whether it searches by rows or by columns. And this is just the order in which it will return results, particularly if you're using the find next option. So it's either by row, so going from left to right, or by column, going from top to bottom. So you can choose to only look in certain areas of your workbook. So for example, you can look in your formulas, values. Probably one of the more useful options here is if you're searching for particular terms in comments that people have left in your workbook, you might use the comments option. You can also choose to search by case. So whether a word is capitalized or not. And if you only want to return cells where this value matches the entire contents of the cell, you check this box here. Now, the first thing we're going to look at is some of the useful functions when instead of using find next, you use find all. So if we click on find all while searching for total, it will come back saying it's found 87 cells within the workbook and it's got all instances. We can also look by sheet and click find all. We'll say it's found 48 cells in this particular sheet. And one useful thing that you can do if you hold down your shift key and scroll to the bottom, you can select the last option and it will select every instance in that list where that has appeared. And as you can see, it's not only selected in this list here, but it's actually highlighted the cells in your workbook. Now this can become particularly useful if you're looking to maybe highlight cells with certain values in it, which is where we come on to the replace option. Now say we want to keep our total as the word total, but we want to apply a format to every cell where that appears. What you can do is you can select format in here, come over to your fill and say we want to make it yellow. If you click OK and hit replace all, what it will do is we'll make every cell where total appears yellow. Now, if we just undo that, if you've got a workbook where maybe particular cells are colored in a particular way, and maybe you've decided you want to change the appearance of your spreadsheet or you want to align it with the look of other spreadsheets. Maybe your company has changed its color scheme. Using this replace function and not just replacing values, but doing formats can be very, very helpful. So in this example, say we want to format these light blue cells as a different color. What we could do is we can go to our find and replace, replace tab, make sure that these two options for find what and replace with are clear. So we're not looking for any particular text. What we want to look for is the format. So you've got a couple of options here. The first one is to click choose format from cell. If we then select our cell, what it will pick up is it will pick up all the formatting in the cell, including whether it's formatted as a number or a percentage, and the color of it, so if we click on format itself, we go to number, you can see it's selected percentage there and the fill is this light blue color. If we then want to change it, for example, to this light purple color instead, we can just select that in our fill option, click OK and hit replace all. And what it's done is it's replaced all the cells which are formatted as a percentage. 
Now I changed some cells here to a number, which is why those haven't changed. So if we just hit undo, if we want to then format it so all these cells were to change, what we need to do is clear the find format and just select the color from the list. So in this instance, it was this blue color. Click OK and then hit replace all. You'll see that it's replaced all instances, even those that have been formatted as a number. So say I were going to format these in a different color. So I'm going to select this color, this color on my list here. We can copy either the RBG code here or this hex value. Click OK. Go back to our replace. We want to format. And what you can do is click on more colors, custom, and we can put that code in the bottom. And it will select the color. You can then select what you want to format it as. And we hit replace all. You'll see that it's changed the color yet again. Another option you can use here, for example, in this instance, I've converted some of these to numbers. We can come back in, clear the find format. We want to choose the format from the cell. So we want to select those that are in number format. And how we want to format them is we want to choose the format from these cells. So they're all the same and they're backup percentages. And if we click replace all, it's now replaced all those values as percentages rather than numbers. So there's a number of useful options here with the find and replace, particularly around formatting of cells. If you'd like to know a little bit more about cell formatting, do check out my other videos. And if you've got any questions about some of these find and replace functions, please do let me know in a comment. I hope that you found the short video useful. Remember to like and subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you in a future video.